Hello, Dear Odoers. Welcome to this video on financial reports. Like other businesses, Bloom has to keep its reports accurate to comply with legal requirements and also monitor its financial health. So let's jump into Odoo and see what we can do. So here we are in our database. Let's open the accounting app and head to our reporting menu. From here, we have access to a variety of reports ranging from statement reports to management reports. Let's check our balance sheet first. From here, we have an overview of our assets, liabilities, and equity. We can change the date here. For example, we can look at this from the end of last month. We can compare to other periods. So I'll say we want to compare to the last two periods. And we can choose to show only the amounts of a specific journal. So we can say we want to look at just the customer invoices journal. We have a few other computation and display options here. And then we have our rounding units. So if we want to display in thousands or millions of euros. And then we have the different type of balance sheet report. So we'll switch to our generic report. In this case, since it's a Belgian database, we have access to the Belgian specific report as well as the generic balance sheet. In your case, you'll have access to your country specific report plus the generic report. We also have the possibility to drill down on some account categories, and we can even click on some highlighted lines. And this will jump us to our profit and loss report. So Odoo accounting reports all share the same navigation philosophy. So if I go instead to our general ledger, I can also here drill down on some different categories and even click into our journal items. So you can always use the breadcrumbs to go back to the previous report. And now let's check out our journal report. So before we switch reports, are there any way to save these reports either as a PDF or another type of file? Great question. Yes, so you can always find the available file formats for downloading a report in the top left corner here. So in this case, we have PDF, Excel, and some other options. All right, let's switch now to that journal report. And again, we can drill down on the report sections to view all the accounts hit by these moves, and we can click onto any of them to view the details of these entries. And in our case, we also have a summary of all impacted tax grids of the Belgian tax report, so the base amount and the tax amount. If we click on audit, we can access all journal items of that journal that involve taxes and see the accounts, amounts, and partners. We can also change the accounts if we want to. So for example, we can select multiples if we want to take these two, for example. We just click, select which account we want to use, and it will update them in mass. So this is how you can filter and navigate Odoo accounting reports. We hope that you enjoyed this video. This has been your pal Dal. I'll see you in the next one.